feature we're very excited about is our two-factor auth support. We've heard from many customers, and I think everyone has seen, that two-factor authentication is becoming a standard for authenticating against apps, especially critical ones. And it can be a bit of a burden to either find bypasses or whitelists or just not scan these two-factor auth sites. So we have a feature now in WebInspect that with an Android phone using our lightweight um, app, you can pass SMS and email tokens directly into a true client macro um, to complete the authentication. And for this demo here, I'm actually going to show a lot of things that would normally be hidden. I've got browsers turned on so they'll actually be able to be seen. Um, we've got the phone there on the right. And what we're watching right here is the setup of the phone where you just scan a QR code. It takes you to download that little lightweight app. Um, automatically on the back end sets up server that passes everything back and forth and you're ready to go. Then you can just record a true client macro for login like normal. This also could be a workflow macro for a more advanced business logic cases. And we'll pass those tokens back and forth. Um, so we'll load up a macro here. And then we can see we actually set that there is a going to be a two-factor authentication token used. Then we can go through and select login. In this portion here, the um, login is going through our username and password. And it's going to actually generate that token now. We can see it got passed to the app. The app sent it over to TrueClient again. And we com completed the loop there and got logged in. Of course, the simple case, that's pretty easy. Let's actually watch it happening in the scan now. For this one, this is going to be a normal scan. We're going to use that macro we just saw. Um, and this is actually going to have multiple browsers all logging in at the same time, and we'll be able to see some of those. Um, so once we get the scan started, it's going to take here a second for it to be configured. We have our first browser coming up, and as I said, these are normally things that are hidden, all of these browsers, but I'm going to make them visible for this demo so we can actually see the login process here. Um, you can see we've got three browsers already up. The first one is attempting to make its connection. It's gotten to the site. It's logging in. And it's got it as token, which was passed to the phone and back to True Client to complete that loop. And it's got its authentication and can pass things off to the next one. And as we can see on the web inspect side, it's starting to get some crawl completed and generate some of the attack surface and our other browsers are all connecting. We've got them all going. And again, this is something that doesn't require any sort of slowdown. It doesn't require any sort of you know, user interaction. Once it's configured, you can put the phone in your pocket, you know, go about your day and everything is handled in an automated fashion. And we're very excited about this. We've had great response from customers who th say this will be a big game changer for them, allow them to get complete coverage of all their apps, and no one else is doing this.